In this screencast, I'm going to present a proof of the theorem that there are infinitely many prime numbers. To start with, consider a list P1, P2, up to Pn of prime numbers. This could be a list which contains any prime numbers and any number of prime numbers. Now we consider the number that we obtain by multiplying together all of these prime numbers and then adding 1. We've shown before that every number has a prime factor, and so this new number that we've just obtained must also be divisible by some prime number. Clearly, our new number is not divisible by any of the numbers p1 to pn, because we'd be left with a remainder 1. So, there must be a prime number which divides it, which is not in our original list. Hence, we've shown that for any list of prime numbers, there is a prime number not in that list. And so, there are infinitely many prime numbers, because if we take any number of prime numbers, we can always extend it and find one more which we missed out, as it were. As a quick side note, observe that the number p1 multiplied by p2 multiplied by all the way up to pn plus 1 might itself be prime, and so its prime factor is itself, but clearly we have still succeeded in finding a prime number that was not in our original list. As such, we have proved that there are infinitely many prime numbers.